55-gallon drum cap. Yeah. That's what it is. Okay. <laughs> Funny. Okay, so what is your favorite memory of Dad, and what did you? What was one thing you learned from Dad? Oh, I have way too many favorite memories. <laughs> uh, I guess. And uh, when I moved to Boulder Hill, Mike was my best friend. car was uh, pretty fast. Well, Mike would show up and all of a sudden he could beat this car. So I knew there was something wrong. So I picked up Mike's car and was real heavy. So I said, you wouldn't mind if I looked underneath the car, you know, I took the screws off from underneath, looked, he had put washers in the, in the model car so it was heavier than my car. <laughs> And that's when I knew, that's Mike Johansson, that's exactly when I knew to watch out for Yeah, Mike really. <laughs> that's funny. That was, that was a long time ago. So that's what he taught you, is to watch out for Yeah, that was my that was <laughs> first experience, was to watch out for Mike for yeah. the rest of my life. <laughs> okay, so go, should I go ahead? Yeah, go ahead. A little dash? A little dab will do you. All right, Mike, this is where you belong, I swear. like a big brother to me. Um, the first time we got together, he took me into the family and, uh, and, and we started doing things together, mostly racing motorcycles and not everything else. We did many, but most of them motorcycles. Uh, so this was just, I don't know, I, I, I put it in the fact that all the things that we did together, uh, Mike was the artist. I was like the worker, but Mike was the artist. He was the one that could could dance on top better than anybody. He could jump farther. He could ride a motorcycle better. And and I always want looked up to him, and I always wanted to go through life like that, you know, on, on the top of his game, always on top of his game. And so all the things, the things that I learned was from Mike was basically go out there and give it your all, be on top, you know, hoop and holler and have the best time you can, you know. And uh, I guess it, 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 it helped me because uh, I, I can't think of the right words, but being a conservative person, it let me loosen up yeah. and have fun, yeah. and and that's that's the whole deal. But uh, yeah, the, the times that we had just to, to I guess wa watch Mike perform, you know, cool. So uh, yep. Yeah. Thank you. Another fishing trip here. <laughs> <laughs> Now maybe he can go get that big one that got away that we always <laughs> talked about. <laughs> All right. Ben, you want to go? Sure. Okay. Uh, best memories probably the uh, uh, midnight cruise in Branson, sitting on the side with Mike, always having a good time. <laughs> uh, probably a uh, few times we did get fish together and. I'd play ball in the yard or something, and we'd have that, uh, that kind of that awkward silence, but it's like we were having deep conversations without saying anything at all, because of course I was dating his daughter, so, um, but he was just an awesome guy. Cool. Okay, 
Okay, what do you gotta do? Anything special? Just hold it. Is it running? Is it working? It's running. Can you okay, me? you're on. Times, you know that. That's exactly how it happened. Yeah. I could. I was trying to think about that the other day. It's it's hard for me to uh, put things in timelines, but there are certain things that I remember. It's like our our Wedron trip, <laughs> go to Wedron camping out, you know, things like that. And that I mean, things like me and him and Denny Whitehurst, and here it is. It's going to rain, but we don't care. We got our little tent and sleeping bags, and go down there to Wedron. Nighttime is nighttime. Oh my goodness, building a campfire and then the pouring rain and it wouldn't put the campfire out. So we were out there just not even have a tent up. We didn't have no tent up and just partying and having a good old time and telling stories and going down in the, to the river and then, and, and, and then, and then, and then, then the rain comes and just pouring down rain and here me and Mike are still up goofing off partying and Denny's passed out. <laughs> and, and then finally I told Mike, let's let's just go sit in the truck. You know, I mean, this is pouring, and Denny's sleeping. And, and so we sat in the truck, and we slept for about two hours or whatever, just a cat nap. And then we get up here, Denny's in the lean-to tent, and, he, and his sleeping bag, and he's got like four, he's laying in four inches of water. Because the road, we went down right off the road is where we camped, and the rain water was coming down, and that was so funny. But jeez. <laughs> yeah, up all night, pouring down rain, just keep on going. Can't let a little rain stop us. But, yeah. There's... Well, the more I think about that, I think that's a good idea. I I'll get a hold of too. some of the guys up there. and. Uh... Yeah, I really, uh, in fact, I would like to see, like, Ricky Wilson if he wanted yeah, to. Yeah, see Ricky and Tim McCord, yeah. all them guys, uh, I'm if sure. If they that's... would like to dump a little bit of his ashes, I yeah. think that'd be cool. He's got a little piece of everybody inside of him. He carried around his stories, and he carried mm. around everybody's love for each person. And so I think each person that wants to should have a little piece to dispose of him, you know, just to... And what yeah, better Rick, place than, like that. The, yeah. than the place he grew up in, you know? We'll figure something out. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's do that. And then when it's Zach's time, then I'll know where to find the rest of them, so...
Right. Yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> Those guys will appreciate that. I know they will. Yeah, I think so too. But they, I should tell them that they have to videotape it so I can hear their story. Okay, too. we'll try. I mean, yeah. I'll try and get that done. No, I can't promise anything. <laughs> get those guys up there. <laughs> yeah, it was, either that or they have to write me a little story about what their favorite memory of it was. They have to write it down. So that way I have it in paper. In writing. Well, it, Your friends are the most important thing yeah. there is on earth, I swear. Friends are family. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, family doesn't just have to be blood, you know. It's mm -hmm. it's the, the time that you spend and the, the feelings that you share and the, the trust and the and and all that kind of stuff. It's just it's it was kind of seems like it would have holds us together. Well, you know when they say that, um, like I felt like that person was there even though they were gone. You know, yeah. you feel like you feel that and. I'm always like, I think they are. Like, I think they're, you carry so much love in your heart for them that they're still with you. Like, yeah. they're, and they're, and they really are with you. Like, they're like, if you could only feel how really with you yeah, I you am right them, now. You can hear them say that same old comment. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, you do this. Yeah, well, you know, you're always that way, you know, like Budster, you know. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever hear that one? What? I'll buy you a case of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you ever heard that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he said geez. that all that all the time. Yeah. He'd break something of yours. He'd say, don't worry about it. I'll buy you a case of them. Yeah. Or, he, or he, he'd say, I said, oh, I like that. And he goes, well, we'll just get a case of them then. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually on my side. It was usually when he broke something. Oh, okay. <laughs> or or why, I think one of the things that Mike picked up from my mom was, you better believe it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, your mom says that too. Yeah. And uh, and then and then of course mom would say I think I can see, remember hearing her saying at the kitchen table on we go, You better believe it and Mike would say, Yep, you better believe it and of course he was saying this a little sarcastically, but then all of a sudden it's like every other week, you know, and pretty soon it's more and more he's saying, You better believe it <laughs> So he he picked up something there from Wow. What was funny was when he'd get telemarketers that called and he would go, he would go, oh, yeah, okay, drop dead, and he'd hang up the phone. Like, that's how he would handle telemarketers. He'd just tell them to drop dead. And I'm like, Dad. He's like, what? They know I mean it in a nice way. <laughs> Good times. But that was a nice way of like, telling you off. Yeah. Was, you know, drop dead. No, nicer nice nice yeah, nice nice than the, Yeah, they could have been worse. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or something like eat some dog crap. Yeah. In, in other words. <laughs> <laughs> you know, other familiar similes. <sighs> yeah, there's only been one time in my life that I think I've seen Ben cry and that was when dad died like I, I that was one of the few times I saw you cry probably yeah because he was like your dad he was he became like a dad to you too at least that's what you told me yeah. and I remember the last thing he said to me on the telephone was I love you, you know, I'll always love you. And he never said that. He always just said, I love you. But the last time on the phone, he said, you know, I'll always love you. And I was like, I know, Dad. And But it was just weird that he, like, had to reiterate it that last time. Mm -hmm. So that was really special. Yep, yeah, that was a big heart. Yeah. <laughs> and a wild body. <laughs> Crazy. And yeah, a, and a crazy body. And a crazy body. <laughs> and on that note.